Hey everybody, welcome back. It's that time of week again. You know you missed it, although we brought it back last week. It's time for me to show off all the cool comics I got this week in my epic comic book haul. Now, of course, this time it's also going to include some of the books I picked up on Saturday for free comic book day, because free comic book day is freaking awesome. I probably, actually, by the time I got there, I could have taken pretty much one of everything, but I was being respectful and being cool, trying to leave stuff for other people. I just took the ones I really, really wanted. So you got like five or six free comic books in there, and then I uh, got like... 49 books, I think, total, if I counted correctly. Um, some older books came in, including the lenticular, certain lenticular covers, so uh, I think you're gonna have fun checking all those out. So without further ado, I'm gonna shut up and get to it. Here's my comics. Okay, so here we go. Um, most of these are new to get new today. A few are gonna come from free comic book day. I'll try to remember what was what. But anyways, we're starting off brand new today. All-Star Batman, check out that cover. Those colors are freaking phenomenal. I absolutely love that cover. Uh, issue number 10, obviously. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 26. Ooh, Silver Sable. Cool, I know nothing about her, but I've heard the name, so I guess I gotta find out some cool stuff. The Amazing Spider-Man number 27 looks like a kind of a scroll, or no, I'm sorry, a Green Goblin invasion, which is what I was curious about. Really cool art since I bought issue 25. I've started collecting Amazing Spider-Man because who doesn't want to read Spider-Man? Speaking of, Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows, number five. I may or may not already have this one, to be honest. I gotta get my comics in line, get my app up to date, um, which you'll see in a future vlog. But uh, I thought I'd pick it up anyways, just in case. And then new today, number seven. Now this looks really fascinating. A ripped up uh, costume for Peter Parker, fighting Magneto. Yes, please. <laughs> And new today, issue number three of America. I need to start reading this. I have no idea if it's good or not, but I think it's gonna be cool. What I do love is this vintage looking cover. I just think that's really neat. And of course you got some X-Men in there. And uh, is that, oh, I thought that chick was like trying to make out with Colossus, but no. <laughs> so hopefully this is good. And of course, free comic book day, Attack on Titan. How could I not, especially when it was free and that was the day I got to watch Attack on Titan, the latest episode, which is a jaw-dropping, mind-bending, holy fuck of an episode where we literally had to rewind and be like, wait, did that just happen? And then we got on the edge of our seat through the back half and we're like, no, we need it to be next Saturday already. Anyways, this should be pretty cool and I love anything and all things Attack on Titan. New today, I believe I'm collecting this series, Avengers issue seven. There's like four or five different versions of Avengers. I'm not really sure, but I think this is the version I'm collecting. Plus, even though I haven't gotten to read it yet, and from infamous Iron Man. All right, cool. Now these came in the mail. Wah, wah. I actually got three of each of these because Casey Miracle's getting a copy, I'm getting a copy, and then the other is either giveaway or collectible for me, but that is awesome and I'm really excited to read it. You'll see um, the rest and I'll explain as we go because here's issue number 22, which is the most current issue of Batman. And my store did end up getting some, but I didn't want to chance it. That's why I pre-ordered a bunch from Midtown Comics. But uh, after talking to Kevin over at Comic Interlude, he just said, next time, just let him know. He'll make sure he has them. So I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. And new today, I believe, is 956 Batman Detective Comics. I'm just buying all the Batman stuff because it's freaking Batman. I never get tired of reading Batman. Plus, pretty sweet cover, man. He's all pissed off. Like it. Now I got this on uh, free comic book day. You may have seen it in the last haul. I picked up some Batman and the Shadow. It should be pretty neat, but I like that it's the uh, the sketch cover, artist sketch cover. You can find an artist you love and have them draw you a one of a kind cover. So I thought I might do that one of these days. Yes, this was in my pull list. I'm so excited. I love this series. <laughs> so we got Batman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Adventures, issue number six. And of the two covers I saw, I like this one a lot better than the other because we got the kind of black and white turtles, which I think is really sweet to see that cartoon design in black and white. Batman 66 meets Wonder Woman. Aw oh, yeah, four. We got two more to go, and then I'm gonna read the crap out of this. Ooh, we get Catwoman. Um, it also turns out I'd been missing some stuff in my pull list because I forgot that my books are behind my name, not in front of my name. <laughs> Ironically, my buddy Todd, his is right in his, I was looking in his empty slot because he actually was able to get, to get to the store every Wednesday. But um, anyways, excited to finally have it, and excited that we're getting close to wrapping this up so I can actually read it. I grabbed this variant today. I can't really tell you why, um, <laughs> but you know, future unboxing, you might see why this extra appealed to me. But also, it's a really sweet variant cover for Darth Maul issue number one, which I think is like a five or six issue miniseries, so I'm gonna let that finish before I start reading it. Issue number two, Deadpool versus Punisher. Come on, man, this has gotta be a great series. Plus, look at that awesome cartoon art. That is way, way, way too cool, man, way too cool. Also, free comic book day, Dragon Ball Super. And again, it's funny because was watching that Saturday night, which was free comic book day. <laughs> um, so very, very cool. And we got some Boruto stuff in there, which I know nothing about, but I will read this and find out. Loving the anime, by the way. 
Uh, I think I just missed this or I already have it, but I love this cover either way. Uh, Running with the Devil, Electra, number three, but check it out. We have like the various versions of Electra showing up in the mirror, so I think that's really, really cool. And here you go, here's Flash 21. That one doesn't show up as well. Kind of turns into almost zombie-like. That's pretty cool. Now, Midtown Comics, just uh, I set it to ship every month, so that's why I've only got the first three. The fourth one, I don't think is out yet. It's about to be out, so I'll get that soon. This was cool. They put this in my pull list. It's a one-shot. Um, I think because they know I like the Ghostbuster stuff, and they know I like the Funko Pops, which is good, because they did not have any of this on the shelf today. So uh, it is a one-shot from IDW, and it is actually pop figure art inside, so I think that's awesomely super cool, and I can't wait to read it. You guys saw the Ninja Turtle versions the other day, so very, very cool, and thank you, Comic Interlude, for pulling that for me. And free comic book day, all new Guardians of the Galaxy. Come on. Ooh, plus the Defenders. I didn't even see that. Ooh, Michael Bendis. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go read this right now. Look, we even have Baby Groot in this iteration. There's like 18 iterations of Guardians going on right now, though. A little hard to keep track of what's what. Speaking of, here's issue number two out today, Guardians of the Galaxy, Mother Entropy. So that could be fun. Should be fun. Hope it's fun. And yes, yes, although I got some terrible news today, but we got Gwynpool, number 15. I'm still loving Gwynpool. However, I hear she's on the chopping block that people are, she's not selling that well in April. People get the fuck out there and buy this book because I need it to continue forever. I do love it. I do love it so. Plus, you know, Ghost Rider, Hawkeye, cool beans. And I believe new today, Hawkeye, issue number six. I like this art. It's a very different style than I'm used to, but I think that's pretty freaking cool. And uh, I love these, the cinematic guidebooks. So this like tells you, this is about Iron Man 2, tells you about the movie and then kind of gives you all the, um, kind of connects it to the comics and where the ideas and pieces and like what that armor is and all that and what comic you can find it in. Um, they've done them for a bunch of different Marvel things and I really like them and I want to find more because I like all of those. Fun thing. Jessica Jones, number eight. I thought I missed it the other day. Ooh, yeah, Maria Hill. Um, so I've been loving this book and I can't wait to continue reading it. It is definitely not for kids, but it's pretty freaking awesome. New today, Justice League of America, issue number six. What is going on here, Ray and Lobo? Ray, why are you killing Lobo? That's what I wanna know. Cool, this should be a fun book, dude. Running with the Devil, Kingpin, number four. I love this cover that he's on like security feed uh, in a crime scene and he's just having his little espresso. That is just awesome, really neat. Miss Marvel, number 18, should be cool. I hope it's cool. Guess they're dreaming about their childhood friendship. Pretty interesting cover art. I think we've cleared up an arc. We might be into a new arc, even though it doesn't have Marvel now, so the number one thing, but whatever. Just anxious to read it. And yes, Heroes Realm. Heroes Realm hooking me up, man. Can't wait to start reading these. We got two more to go, and then I'll have the whole series. And uh, hopefully, so far, I have all four action figure variants, too, so let's keep that coming, and hopefully I can get all six. And I can't wait to check it out. This should be really fun. Annual Punisher number one. This honestly, the art caught my eye, so I was like, okay, I gotta have it. That artwork is too freaking cool. <laughs> Very Halloween, obviously, and uh, I'm excited to read that. I'm hoping this was the new one today. They had a new thing under it, but I've lost track of where I am with Red Hood. But number 10, sweet freaking cover, so cool to have. Always excited to get some great artwork. They also threw this in my uh, pull list. It's a comic interlude, which I'm pretty excited about. Rocket number one. What? I just saw that. I am terribly, terribly excited. I wonder if he'll be like, um, was it Chicken Little on um, Foghorn Leghorn cartoons? There was like always the tiny one that wanted to go pick the fight or something. Anyways, this should be very cool. Love the Reservoir Dogs-esque cover to it. Some interesting characters I can't wait to find out more about. Secret Empire, free comic book day version. I don't know. I just haven't read it, but I'm gonna. It should be pretty cool. We got some Spider-Man in there too, so Spider-Man's always a good thing. Secret Warriors, new today, number one. I see a dino, a Devil Dinosaur, Moon Girl, Miss Marvel. Yeah, this could be cool. Cap, Red Skull, all right. I'm anxious to get into this and see what's going on with all this Secret Empire stuff. Um, I'm hoping I haven't missed issue number seven, but Shade, the Changing Girl. I really need to start reading this though, because I need. To, I buy way more comics than I have time to read, obviously. I really need to make it a priority to start reading more of these. Silver Surfer, I just love that they're still doing this vintage art and I'm hoping the storyline where I picked up is really cool because so far all the covers to this has just been fantastic. Star Trek versus Green Lanterns, the final issue, six of six. So I think I can read this, although I feel like I might be missing an issue, so I'm gonna have to go track it down. But um, should be pretty cool. Dig Star Trek, dig Green Lanterns, think that'll be a fun crossover. Brand new today, five part story arc, issue number one, Star Wars Screaming Citadel, Luke, I believe Dr. Afra, Afra, so that's a really cool crossover. Skulls, hooded statue, 
I'm in. Can't wait to check this one out for sure. I was a little behind on Heroes Realm. They pulled Suicide Squad for me, but he had both issues. Suicide Squad number 16, Earthlings on Fire, part one. Love me some Harley. That is curious considering where I've left off in the reading, but um, I definitely need to get back in here and find out what's happening. And of course, issue number two, which I, th I mean 17, not number two, um, which might be today. Also very curious considering where I left off reading. I really need to get caught up on Suicide Squad apparently. But really cool cover too, so exciting stuff. Uh, again, I don't think I have this one, but I loved this cover. I didn't want a chance not having it. So Supergirl number nine, Batgirl Supergirl team up. That is really, really fun. I thought she was missing a boot for a second. <laughs> okay, how could I not buy this? Honestly, they had two covers too, and I almost bought the other cover, but this is so cool. Issue number one, I think it's gonna, it's a limited run, but it's gonna be Three Stooges and like Frankenstein or something? I don't know, but come on, dude. Love me some Stooges. And if, they're, it's, if it's gonna be like Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein or something, I need to see, I need to read this. So very exciting stuff. Secret Empire US Avengers, number five. I do love US Avengers. Secret Empire, opening salvo. Cap shutting down the dude that I can't remember his name, but should be pretty fun. I, I think I missed out on this, so I made sure to grab it just in case, but issue number two of Weapon X, Really cool cover. Wolverine. Looks like maybe Sabretooth in there in the reflection. I'm not entirely sure, but I dig that cover. And new today, Weapon X, number three. Domino, kicking some ass. All right, taking some names, all out of bubblegum. Free comic book day. I think I missed issue number one, so at least I have a way to read it. Although it's special edition, so I bet it's not even the full book. So anyways, it was free. What am I gonna do? It's Wonder Woman. How can I not, right? New today, X-Men Blue, issue number three. So that should go really well with X-Men Gold. I can't wait to start reading these too. I'm getting close to being ready to do so. And last but not least for free comic book day, Exo Man of War featuring Bloodshot. I heard this is fantastic. I've got a bunch of these via boxes and stuff, so I do definitely want to start reading it. Valiant does some really cool stuff. But anyways, guys, there you go. That's my comic haul. All right, well, there you go. I'm anxious now to hear what you guys have to think. Which books are you most excited for? Are you going to go out and buy more Gwenpool? Are you bummed like me? Are you excited about those lenticular covers? Have you been reading it? Of all that new stuff I've got, what's the thing I should most hurry to read? Because you guys, I know, are full of opinions on this stuff, and I love hearing your opinions. So comment away. Geek out with me. Let me know, um, you know, because I may read your stuff in a future vlog. Sometimes I do that. Plus, when it comes to the comic stuff, I can still use a little guidance. I'm still relatively new to it, um, even after all this time. So comment away. Let me hear your thoughts. Other than that, click that thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement, because it is wonderful to be encouraged. And I guess I'm going to get out of here, because i got a hell of a lot of reading to do. And I'll see you all later. Later.